Hello students. Today in the second part of the classification chapter, in this video, I am going to teach you phanerogram. Cryptogram whole cryptogram is already done in my last first video of classification of kingdom planta students. Now we will continue with phanerogram. So let's move to the slide. I will take you to that slide. Students. When we will talk about phanerogam students. Phanerogams are having two subdivisions. Gymnosperm and angiosperm students. Gymnosperm and angiosperm. Plants which have special structure for reproduction and produce seeds are called phanerogams students. Are called phanerogams. In these plants, after the process of reproduction, seeds are formed which contain the embryo stored food embryo and stored food during germination of seed during germination of seed the stored food is used for the initial growth of embryo students depending upon whether seeds are enclosed in fruit or not phanerogams are classified into gymnosperm and angiosperm now here when when we are talking about gymnosperm when we are talking about gymnosperm gymno means naked students gymno means naked i said to you phanerograms are divided into two subdivisions gymnosperms and angiosperm this is this division is based on uh, the whether the seeds are enclosed or they are naked if the seeds are naked gymno gymno means naked students gymno means naked if seeds are naked, we will call them gym gymnosperm. If the uh, seeds are covered, angio means covered one. If seeds are covered, we will call it angiosperm students. So we are having we are having two groups. We are having two groups on the basis of whether the seeds are covered or not. If the seeds are covered, we will call them gymnosperm. And if seeds are not covered, we will call them angiosperm students. So here phanerograms, we are having seed in phanerograms, the plants who are in group phanerograms, they are having seeds, they, uh, they reproduce by the formation of seed and from seed, when the seed get germinated, after the germination of seed, the formation of new plant occurs to them. So here, basically we are talking about seed, if seed is uncovered, naked one, we will call it gymnosperm. If seed is covered one we will call it angiosperm so we'll learn gymnosperm and angiosperm one by one students so let us start with gymnosperm first one gymnosperm here pictures are so shown here students cycus picture is shown here students so here when you will see when we'll talk about gymnosperm uh, observe all garden plants like cycus christmas tree hibiscus lily etc and compare them when we'll compare these all plants uh, note the similarity, uh, similarities and differences among them. Uh, we'll find there are some similarities and there are some differences. Which differences did you notice between gymnosperm and angiosperm? So let us see which uh, similarities are there and which differences are there between gymnosperm and angiosperm. Let us see. Here when we'll continue with gymnosperm are mostly evergreen, uh, perennial and woody. Uh, they are uh, most of the time they are having leaves it is not like uh, they are having lack of leaf or leaves are falling in any season so here in all season they are evergreen and they are woody strands and they are perennial uh, their stems when we'll talk about their stems are without branches they are not having branches in their stem uh, cycus picture is shown in uh, here uh, when you will see the picture cycus is shown here uh, it is a single it is not having any branch it is not having any branch gymnosperm when we are talking about the leaves from crown leaves from crown at the top when you will see the leaves the leaves from crown here upper surface is shown students this is the upper part when you will see from up you can see it will look like this here uh, it forms crown students it forms crown 
and here when we'll continue with this in both the cases we are having crown at the top at the top we are having crown swans the leaves from a crown this plants bears male and female flowers on the different a uh, sporophyll of the same plants swans in a one plant only they are having both male and female but they will be there on different sporophylls they will be there on different sporophylls sporophylls means uh, it is a structure for the spores for the spore swans so male and female sporophylls are different but they are on a same plant but they are on a same plant seeds of these plants do not have natural covering as we studied gymno means naked so here gymno is naked sperm means seed so seed is naked here so there is no outer covering example is uh, here cycas pisia christmas that is known as christmas tree tuja that is uh, mar penki uh, we are call it more punky sometimes in hindi and penis that is deodor etc are the examples of this gymnosperms now next one is angiosperm swans when we'll continue with angiosperm the flowers these plants bear are their reproductive organs or uh, their reproductive organs are flower swans so they are having flowers for reproduction flowers develop into fruits and seeds are formed within fruit here seeds are within fruit fruit these seeds are covered hence they are called as angiosperms angio means cover and seed means sperm <coughs> sorry students so here angio means cover sperms means seed so angiosperms that means seed is covered seed is covered the plants who who seeds can be divided into two now here angiosperms can also be divided into two parts students Mon monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous now what is monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous i'll explain you when we are talking about angiosperm angiosperms are also having two divisions monocotyledonous and dicotyledonous Mo monocotyledonous plant and dicotyledonous plant two types are there now it is based on the number of cotyledons present inside the seed when you will remove here uh, the seeds are in the cover inside the cover when you will remove that upper cover of the seed you will find inside the seeds two equal halves or dicotyledons are there and they are called as dicotyledonous plants dicotyledonous plants and those whose seeds cannot be divided into equal parts are called as monocotyledonous plants students monocotyledonous plants so here we are having again two subdivisions of angiosperms monocotyledons and dicotyledonous let us continue with this angiosperms when we are talking about angiosperms we are having two parts dicotyledonous plant and monocotyledonous plant now dicotyledonous plants when we'll talk about seeds when we'll talk about seeds they are having two cotyledons but monocotyledonous they are having only single cotyledon swans when you will remove the cover angiosperms means there is cover outer cover is there in seed when you will remove the outer cover of the seed when you will remove the outer cover of the seed you will find two cotyledons in dicotyledonous plants and you will find single cotyledon in monocotyledonous plant swans if it is monocotyledonous plant you will get only single cotyledon and if it is dicotyledonous plant you will get two cotyledons now we will talk about roots of these two plants when we will talk about roots of these two plants dicotyledonous plants have well developed primary root that is tap root swans they are having well developed roots but monocotyledonous plants their roots are fibrous roots their roots are fibrous roots they are not well developed swans they are not sorry they are not having primary roots which are well developed here stem when we'll talk about stem of these two plants stems of dicotyledonous plants are strong hard for example we are having banyan tree when we will talk about banyan tree their stems are strong and hard but in the case of monocotyledonous plants the stems are hollow example bamboo tree when you will see bamboo tree 
inside uh, uh, inside from when you will break it you will find inside it is hollow they are having false stems for example banana when you will uh, see the banana stem even by your own hand you can uh, uh, remove the layers of the banana stem in other cases when you will talk about dicotyledonous plants you will not able to remove the outer coverings of the stems and you can't break the stems with your hands students but in banana ke, uh, banana tree you can remove the it is in layer students when you will see the stems here it is like this students they are cylindrical and they are layers there are layers students there are layers inside students when you will see the banana tree and you can remove those uh, layers and uh, you can break the stem easily by your own hand only by your own hand only when we are talking about banana tree so here we are having false stems in banana tree students their stems are disc like for example onion when you will see onion uh, green vegetable which is uh, 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 the onion having green leaves when you will uh, remove the stem and you will see you will find again it is uh, having layers and it is disc like students it is disc like so this is about stem when we will talk about leaves leaves in dicotyledonous plants are reticulate venation uh, sorry venation and in monocotyledonous plant it is parallel venation i'll tell you what is re uh, reticulate and what is parallel venation here when you will see the leaves when you will see uh, the leaves of the dicotyledonous plants and monocotyledonous plants uh, in case of dicotyledonous plants suppose this is the leaf this is the leaf of uh, dicotyledonous plants then you will able to see like this venation will be there uh, venation will be there students here leaves will be like this reticulate venation you will able to see but in the case of monocotyledonous plants in the case of monocotyledonous uh, plants you will find the venation is like parallel venation is like parallel students venation is parallel it is not reticulate i will take one more example of monocotyledonous plants uh, leaf i will draw again one more here suppose this is the leaf this is the leaf then here it will be parallel only parallel students here this will be parallel venation you will get here so here you will get only parallel venation in case of dicotyledonous plant you will get reticulate venation students now we'll talk about flower we'll talk about flower of the dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants now here uh, in dicotyledonous plants flowers with four to five part or in their multiples four is also called as tetra tetra means four so we can say tetrameres tetrameres that means multiple of four or it may be a five is called as penta so we can say pentameres that means the flowers are uh, having parts in the multiple of five or four so if it is multiple of four we'll call it tetrameres if it is multiple of five we'll call it pentameres students now when we'll talk about flowers of monocotyledonous plants flowers with three parts or multiple of three three is tri students tri means three so we can call it trimeres it we can call it trimeres students so here the dicotyledonous plants will have tetrameres or pentameres flowers that the flowers are having four to five parts or the multiple of four to five students when you will see the flower when you will see the flower you may have one two three four that is tetrameres or it may be one two three four five pentameres or multiple of this again one two three four five so here it is multiple of five five and five ten so uh, it may be like uh, pentameres or tetrameres and in the case of monocotyledonous plants it is trimeres twins that means only three suppose here one two and three or multiple of three again one two three so here uh, it may be multiple of three or it is only three so it is 
tetramer restaurants so this is about uh, dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants students this is the end of the chapter and uh, in the next video we'll start with the next chapter uh, till that time uh, i'll say thank you for watching my video uh, we'll uh, meet in next video students and in next video i'll bring next chapter for you uh, by the time i'll say thank you to you all students for watching this video and don't forget to watch next video uh, if possible you can uh, press the subscription button so that uh, you will get uh, the link directly and you will able to see the next video students you will not have to search thank you students